The PanPAC Hawke's Bay Business Awards are back, opening doors for local businesses to showcase their achievements. To tell us more is Hawke's Bay Chamber of Commerce CEO, Carla Lee. Thanks for joining us today, Carla. You're welcome. It's good to be here. So what are the Pan Pack Hawke's Bay Business Awards? So these awards have been going for many years, but basically it's a way for businesses to step out of the continuous operating of their business, take a step back and have a look at their business so that they can really make better decisions. So they step away, they fill out a questionnaire, they get to know their business deeper and better. And then when they come out that other side, they know what's working really well or what isn't so good. So they decide whether they should spend more time on those weaker areas or whether they should actually just concentrate more on their strengths. So what categories are there in these awards? Uh, so there's five plus two categories, which is equal seven. But the last two are slightly different. So five categories, they can all go in. The winners of each category goes up to be the supreme award winner for the whole awards. And then the other two stand alone and they are a wee bit special. So the five categories that we have are the People's Choice, um, and that's sponsored by the Napier City Council, Excellence in Business, sponsored by EIT, Leader of the Year by Two Degrees, Excellence in Sustainability, which is sponsored by the Hawke's Bay Regional Council, Outstanding Social Impact Award, that's sponsored by The Breeze, Best Emerging Business, which is sponsored by Hedatonga Hastings, and The Resilient Business by Unison. Brilliant. Sounds like a great selection of awards there. How can people nominate a business? Um, so you can go onto our website. We actually have a standalone website for the business awards, which is hbbusinessawards.nz. So you can go onto that and nominate other businesses. You can nominate yourself. So anyone can actually enter, whether they're a chamber member or not. This is open to all businesses across Hawke's Bay from Wairau to Central Hawke's Bay. Brilliant. So when do nominations open? Everything happens tomorrow. So we have our business awards launch tomorrow night. That's happening at the Blythe Centre at Iona College at 5.30 tomorrow. So anyone can come along to that if they're interested in entering the awards. Uh, so applications actually open tomorrow and then they go right through until the 9th of August. And that's for the five categories that I was talking about. Now, those two other special categories are the Leader of the Year, which is judged by the Hawke's Bay Chamber of Commerce Board, and the People's Choice. So that's where the public get to vote for a business. And voting opens on the 6th of August for the People's Choice and closes on the 27th of September. Fantastic. So outside of the awards, uh, what is the current outlook for Hawke's Bay businesses? Well, we're still coming back from the cyclone naturally. Um, there's a lot of work that we need to do. Some businesses were severely impacted and others didn't feel anything from the cyclone at all. But we always want to work on those that need to be lifted. Last year, PAMPAC couldn't be our sponsor for our naming principal sponsor. So Datacom stepped in because, as you know, Fidanaki was severely impacted by the cyclone. This year, PAMPAC has come back, so they are our principal sponsor. So we're really excited to have them back, along with a lot of other businesses that are coming through from that whole last year of just working really hard to get up and going again. We've still got a lot of work to do on our infrastructure, so a lot of people know about Trek and how they're actually rebuilding some of our roads that were devastated, like the Napier to Wairau Road and the Napier to Topol Road as well. So we have a lot of work still ahead of us, but we are a thriving community and, and it's really great time to actually see Hawke's Bay grow. So I'm expecting that this year will be very vibrant. Was there anything in Budget 2024 that will assist Hawke's Bay businesses in the short term? So the biggest positive out of the budget was really the infrastructure. 
So the, what the government put behind that to rebuild our roads was really positive. And we're going to get more detail on what that actually looks like for Hawke's Bay businesses, depending on where they're getting their products from or where they're going. So as you know, it's really important for people and product to move. And when the roads went down, that was one of the most worst impact, severely impacted outcomes that we had last year. So I was really happy to see that part of it. Uh, the budget didn't have a lot of spend in it specifically for businesses, how they could actually come forward. But there is a bit of tax relief. However, that's more individual based rather than business. So I think we're really holding on to that infrastructure budget for how that's going to help books by businesses. Thank you very much for taking the time to talk to me this afternoon, Carla. And uh, let's hope lots of nominations start coming in from tomorrow for those Pan Pack Business Awards. Lots of well-deserving businesses out there in the Hawke's Bay. Thanks a lot, Jack.